The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the May 9th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. But if you've got a question and you can't call in, we've got you covered. You can always send me an email. Send it off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any in every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got a slightly mixed bag out there. That slight mix is coming from the semis. are down seven points. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices trading upside. Every sector inside the S&P 500 is in rally mode as well. you got the Dow up 200 points, the S&P 20. NASDAQ 144. Russell's up 12. Semis are down seven. Trendy's up 75. Gold's up 20 bucks. Silver's up 79 cents. Lights Recruit is up 52 pennies. Natural gas is up 9 cents. 30-year Treasury is off four ticks. Printed at 116.07. Our leader in the clubhouse dollar wise is Equinix up 78 bucks, 11%. MicroStrategy, 47 bucks, nearly 4%. Sezzle Inc., 33 bucks, 74%. Sit Time, Sit, yeah, Sci Time Corporation up 27 bucks, 28%. Uh, Aplovian Corp of 14 bucks. That's a 19% move. So we got movers and we've got shakers. The shakers, EPAM Systems, down 59 bucks, 23%. Duolingo, 42 bucks or 17%. Global, Globant SA, down 17 bucks. Corpay, down 15. Airbnb is off 10. So we got some movers and we've got some shakers. But where are we going to begin our day? Excellent question. I'll tell you where we'll begin our day. We're going to begin our day going over to Germany. Why are we going over to Germany, Stevie? You and I have taken a look at that directional correlation that exists between the uh, the German DAX and the NASDAQ. That's a pretty good one. Well, if we take a look at the uh, German DAX right now, first let's open up this chart. This here was a TD9 count top on the daily time frame. And it sure looks like price is going to close above that high. That's at 18,567. So that pattern gets negated. Uh, disregard the uh, profile levels that uh, are showing up here. And you can see A to B equals CD patterns. Now, I'm not going to get into that right now. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, it also had a TD9 count top. And that TD9 count top, that high, is at 18.567.18. We're trading above that now. And if we close above that tomorrow, that will go ahead. And let's just take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern that is in place out here. And we'll start down with the uh, low from... Uh, September of 2022, that's our A point. Our B point out here is July of 2023. And the C point on the weekly time frame is October of 2023. We can see that it's one to one, A to B equals CD pattern to the upside, 19,296. Odds favor that that's where price is headed to. Well, if this directional correlation continues, and I, didn't, I don't have it set up in my system, we've looked at it enough that we don't need to really waste our time doing that. But this is generating a signal for us. So that's the first signal out there. We had talked about how we, the New York Stock Exchange, when it's advanced a client oscillator, closes above plus 150, which it did back here on the trading day just a few days ago. May 6 was the high. That close was at 179. We went back and we took a look at other time periods where we got that, and what we saw was higher prices. It doesn't mean that it's tomorrow. It means that there's higher prices. 
out there. Well, it may be tomorrow, uh, maybe today for all we know out there. But right now, that's so that's an indicator that says, OK, we should see higher prices. That is going along with what we just took a look at inside of the German DAX. If we take a look at our equity futures out here, we can see that right now prices trading above the one-to-one -one price objective in the ES Mini. That was at 52.27. We do not get a bearish reversal candle. Its next price targets are going to be 52.54 and 52.78. 52.54 was a 0.786 retracement. 52.78 is a 1.272 expansion of its A to B equals CD pattern. We're above profile here. We're above an oscillator and change line. Things are hunky-dory. If we take a look at the NQs, same thing. Price is above the top of its profile. So it is in breakout mode until we see some type of bearish reversal candle. Well, based on looking at the DAX, I don't expect that we'll see that anytime soon. At least we're not going to see it today. If we take a look at the Dow equity future contract, it's already above yesterday's high, as is the um, ES Mini out there. That's a bullish sign. And it's it's attained more than the one-to-one. -one. It's on its way up to 39,567 to 39,738. That's the 1.272 expansion and its 0.786 retracement of its move lower. In the case of the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 forming a new profile, or certainly attempting to form a new profile, we're using Stevie's advanced stop system right now this profile is held so far this morning but it closed above 2077 assuming the profile stays in play and we're at 2065 right now if i'm sorry we're at 2077 20. if price closed above 2077 30 today well that's going to just simply suggest that uh, prices you know broke a profile change in trend out there and that we should continue higher now in order to continue higher this has to get above 2089 20. that's the one-to-one -one, uh, price objective it got there a couple of days ago and then backed off but a close above that would certainly suggest a move up to the 2121 level out there. So that's what we see when we take a look at the daily equity future contracts and put things together. If we take a look at the index ETFs out here, let's go do that. Now, in the case of the SPIs, it has not completed yet its one-to-one -one price objective. Its one-to-one -one price objective would be 52103. That is very likely where it's headed to. In the case of the Qs, it attained its one-to-one -one price objective. It's dealing with profile resistance, which is at 442 and a quarter. If price closes above that, we're headed back to its all-time highs out there. In the case of the Dow Diamonds, it's trying to complete that consolidation breakout. It's above the 0.68 retracement of its last move down. The 0.786 retracement is at 393. Well, that gets us really right up to the top of that measured move. Remember, in a measured move, consolidation breakout, it is a it gives you a measured move that is equal to but it doesn't cover the greater than well in this case here the greater than would be get all the way back to its all-time highs and finally let's uh, finish take a look at the iwm in the case of the iwm uh, it still has a ways to go before it completes its one-to-one -one price objective, and that's up at the 206.56 level out there. So that's what we have. We take a look at the uh, futures markets out here. If we take a quick peek, uh, as well as some of the index ETFs, if we take a quick peek and go take a look at what's going on intraday out here, just before we go to the break, we'll get those charts up on our screen. The five-hour time frame chart. Now, this pattern, this candle, I should say, does not close until 2 p.m. But right now, if we get a close above... Uh, the level of 52.2675, that's a TD9 count top. That's going to suggest that we continue to move higher. I would watch that level at 2 p.m., 52.2675. If prices above that, we more than likely rally into the close. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's uh, go switch over to my uh, black background charts while I try to get some things set up over here on the white background charts, and we'll keep the show flowing nicely. So if you just give me just one moment just to punch something in. So I'm going a little bit out of order of the request, but that's simply because of my issues that I've got going on with the system. And so we're going to jump down to Duncan Steve. And Duncan Steve is asking the question, is Amazon getting ready to break out? And the answer to that question is it looks like it is. Now, we won't know till the end of the day. Let me get rid of this A to B equals CD pattern. What we're taking a look at is right now, Amazon is taking on its all-time swing point high. Of course, that now shifts over to today because we have taken that level out. That level I'm referring to is April the 11th. So Amazon, you can see on that trading day, Duncan, did 40 million shares. And today so far, in less than two hours of trading, we are at 15 million shares. So just take 15 times three, we're at 45 plus probably, and we had 40 million. Now, I do not know if today's volume will keep up or not keep up out there, but uh, we take a uh, we close above that. Now, we'll go back and take a look at the Amazon chart, see if there's any other signals out there that we need to be aware of. But the answer to your question would be yes. So where did that breakout take us to uh, if we take a look at Amazon? And that becomes kind of the struggle out here with regard to the A to B equals CD patterns out there because there are several. And so where would we start? So let's not deal with that. Let's just simply go take a look at the weekly time frame chart because that A to B equals CD pattern is much easier to identify. And right now, what price is doing is trading above its all-time swing point high. Well, actually, that moves over again to today. Now, the volume on a weekly basis is 190 million shares, what it's taking out. We're at 109. So if this does just, you know, 150 million shares tomorrow, 40 to 50 million today, um, we've already done 15. So we're at about, um, this is called 80 on top of the um, 109, that gets us up towards the uh, 190 million shares, and 190 million shares is what we had for the week of April the 8th out there. So you won't know till tomorrow if we get a close above that uh, swing point with volume or not. Um, but if we do get a close above it, whether it's with volume or not, there will be no top. 
And so, yes, it would be signaling to you and I it's breaking out. What I would suggest then is that the price objective would really be at the 200.3 level out there because when we go to the weekly time frame chart, we get rid of the noise. We can truly see the A to B equals CD pattern that is in place out here now. Those of you that have been listening to the show for years out there, you know that when a B to C retracement of an A to B equals CD pattern does something less than a 0.618, I'm not talking, you know, 615 or 0 0.6, but in this case here, that retracement was a 42% retracement. And what do we know about that? We know that price is likely to do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern, and that's what we see going on here. In fact, on a weekly basis, we saw prices simply pull back, test and reject the bottom of its weekly profile. That is a bullish signal. If you take a look at the monthly time frame chart out here, um, uh, you know, not not anything additional to really report to you. The monthly swing point has volume of 1.6 billion, but we're we're just too too new into the month to even really pay attention to that. So now let's go switch back over to my white background charts. It's going to have Apple up there, but we'll change over and take a look at Amazon so we can just see if there's any other signals out there that we need to pay attention to. Let me go try to figure out where I might have put that. One, two, three. I think it is here, and I was wrong. It's the one below that. So let's go take a look at any other signals inside of Amazon. Well, turns out today we become bar number seven. So what this does suggest to us, uh, Duncan, is that we could see, could see a TD9 count top form between tomorrow and next Tuesday out there. So just kind of put that in the back of mind for thinking. Uh, we can see that price here would take out a Rogeman to indicator. It was not TD9 count tops. My apology. It was Rogeman to indicator tops, both on the uh, daily and the weekly time frame out there. On a weekly time frame, there is no topping signal whatsoever period. So closing above that, that helps aid us in the idea that price should make its way up towards that uh, second uh, A to B equals CD price projection at 200.30 level. We don't see any kind of a topping pattern. Well, I take that back. You had a sell the D point pattern that formed last month. And right now we're trading above that high. So it looks like that could be just an epic failure out here. But again, it's a monthly chart, and we're too new into it. So to answer your question, Steve-O, I think uh, the stock charts here answered your question. Is it breaking out? It most certainly is, at least as of 11.23. we got to come back and take a look at it at 4 p.m. So thanks so much for that request, and uh, have a uh, terrific Thursday. Mohammed's been kind enough to wait an extra day out here. Uh, his request came in sort of late in the show yesterday, and it was with regard to Wynn, uh, Steve Wynn. So when I take a look at this, what I see out here, and I'm just looking at the daily time frame, the first thing I see is a failed TD9 count bottom. The uh, bottom of that pattern was on April the 19th out there. We had just a very small two-day rally out there. That was pretty weak, very weak. And then what we see is that back on the trading day of April 30th, the volume on that candle was 2.7 million shares. That took out that TD9 count pattern that had 1.1 million shares. That, Mohammed is a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the downside for its daily time frame. Granted, price has made its way back into its profile level out there. This has not been negated. The only way this gets negated or redrawn would be to see some kind of tick trade above 99.48. That's high from April 23rd. So we do know is we have an A to B equals CD to the downside that's been confirmed, but price has made its way back into profile level. And as long as it holds 95.87, it's possible that this A to B equals CD pattern to the downside could be averted could be averted. When we look at the weekly time frame chart, we see that price is trading below profile for one, two, and this could be the third week in a row out there. We can see its TD9 count top was tested and it's rejected, and this is suggesting we could see a move down to 84.33. Turns out the one to one A to B equals CD price projection is around 83.68, give or take. The monthly chart, we just see a consolidation with inside profiles out here. So we have a little bit of a rally. Let's look at our Texas two-step pattern out here and see what we have. So we can see that we had a four-day rally inside of uh, Win That was up on the trading session of May 6th. Then we saw two days to the downside out here. So do we have a clear picture? Uh, is this just a one-day rally? I don't know. We've got an inside bar right now. An inside bar typically says that the, uh, the pattern that was in place is going to continue. To me, that would suggest that we could move to the downside. So I know you're in a long trade out there. What my suggestion would be, 
um, is to watch that uh, 9587. That is your profile support level. That is a bullish structured support level. We close back below that. Signals here point to moving lower out there. So I hope that helps you out. And as always, thanks so much for uh, waiting, in this case here, waiting an extra day. Alton wrote in this morning he'd like to take a look at Pfizer. His specific question is, is there a confirmed bottom? Well, there was a confirmed by the D point bottom on a daily time frame that went ahead and completed on April the 19th. That set up as support, the low of the pattern. The low of the pattern was 2523. That pattern was tested uh, back on uh, the uh, uh, April 26. Price got below it, rejected it, was with 46 million shares, which was going against 35. Ordinarily, you'd think that price would be back down there, but it's not. And right now what we have is we have um, in the case. So, yes, there's a bottom. That bottom was tested and it held. The weekly time frame chart at the end of this week could confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Now, that's the great news. The bad news or a or news, at least, is the fact that price is running into resistance. That's at the top of his profile. That's at twenty eight thirty four. Alton, we come back to this break. We'll finish taking a look at Pfizer for you. Then we'll take a look at soybeans for Peter in Park City and Apple for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. Be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side-by-side -side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side-by-side -side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're still taking a look at the uh, charts here for Pfizer. PFE is the uh, ticker symbol out there. And uh, so we confirmed a daily bottom, a weekly bottom uh, that is out there. And uh, the, there could be a monthly uh, by the D point. Right now, we've got a bull sash candle. I don't know what it's going to look like at month's end. But there's your bottoming patterns. Now, the price can close up. So I don't have any other real signal. I mean, it's possible that today's low could be the C point of an A to B equals CD pattern. Well, price is done when it's pulled back. It's tested the bottom of its profile. The bottom of the profile is at 25, uh, 2533. The, oh, that's not, that's not 2533. That can't be right. 2731. Sorry about that. 2731. And what do we get to this morning? We got down to 27.32. You got to love that. So support is held, and this could be, we won't know unless price takes out the high bar number five that I've got up on my screen out there. If it takes that out, then Pfizer would generate an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. So Alton, yes, there's a confirmed bottom inside of Pfizer for its daily and its weekly time frame. And thank you for pointing that out to uh, everybody in the uh, TFN community. Let's go take our next request, which is to take a look at soybeans for Peter in Park City. I'd like to take a look at the November beans. So we take a look at November beans. There is a new profile that has formed. And the bottom of that profile is at um, 11.61.43. Uh, so that's all the way down here. Now, what you really want to be watching is 11.94.67 or thereabouts. That's its uh, oscillator and change line. The question is, do I have a top out here? Yeah, of course we do. Take a look at the bottom. So first it forms a nice TD9 count bottom, and then that uh, runs into, that uh, then generates an A to B equals CD pattern. It does more than the one-to-one, -one, well, more than the one-to-one, -one, A to B equals CD. We know that there is a big reason why you just don't sell the one-to-one, -one, A to B equals CD, whether you buy or sell that. You want to wait for the, um, you want to wait for the cavalry to tell you. Because otherwise, price is going to continue to move higher. It's the same situation that we're in right now with regard to the index ETFs, the uh, equity futures contracts. You know, they've attained the one-to-one. -one. That doesn't mean that the move is over. And we've got that proof here with regard to soybeans. It probably went up towards the one to one point six one eight level. It doesn't really matter where it got to once it gets above the one-to-one. -one. Once it gets up there, you start looking for storm clouds and you start looking for a bearish reversal candle. Well, that's, in fact, what you got yesterday. So yesterday you got that confirmation. And they also had a new profile, it's bearish in structure out there, of a sell the D point pattern. Now price is trading below the center of that level at 1207. Ordinarily, Peter, I would say price is going to go target 1161. I can't say that because the oscillator and change line is in between that. And that, in fact, could be support. So you should see price move down to the 1194 level. If we look at the weekly time frame chart out there, what we can see is price ran into resistance when it made that high. And that was where the sellers were located at 1203.98 out there. So that's the weekly. The Monthly chart for soybeans is not going to help us. I don't have enough data, but we can look at a couple of intraday charts for you. So to begin that, let's take a look at the 60-minute time frame. And the 60-minute time frame chart is going to show us a negated TD9 count bottom. That TD9 count bottom completed at 2100 hours, and that was yesterday. And that pattern was taken out this morning at 9 a.m. That is actually setting up an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Not that I need to draw that in there. And it looks like the next price target is 1193. So right now, I would say that soybeans, November soybeans, are headed to 1193 to, uh, how about that? That 1193, that breakout level, gets you right back to that uh, oscillator and change line out there. So what we know is if we close below that, we don't have any kind of a bottom pattern, then we can get all the way down to this 1161 level, the bottom of that new bearish structured daily profile. And I would say the argument is that if you close below that oscillator and change line, the odds of that get increased significantly. So hope that helps you out with regard to November soybeans. And as always, thanks so much for your requests. Dan, inside the Tiger Sen, wanted to take a look at Apple, but wanted to do it on the multi set of time frame charts out here. So let's begin with Apple. And let's take a look at a 15 minute time frame chart. What signal do we have here? The signal we have here is a negated TD9 count uh, top. We have price trade above its TD9 count breakdown level at 183. There's no other topping pattern that I have in place out here. The 15 minute chart suggests higher price for Apple. If we take a look at a 30 minute time frame chart, what do we have here? We have, uh, let's uh, update this. 
We have a TD9 count top uh, that is completing right now. It will complete at 12 noon. Now, price is above profound. It's above its green oscillator and change line. So even though we're going to get that count out here, Dan, um, it's somewhat neutral. To get less than neutral, you need to really see it close below 182.11. That's a TD9 count breakout level at this moment in time. If you see it close below that, we're likely headed lower out there. Otherwise, it's just a test of support. On a 65-minute time frame, prices trade above profile resistance. The next resistance area is that oscillator and change line around 148 and change. Right now, it's one. Uh, 184.27. We're consolidating with inside the 130-minute time frame chart, but trading above that green oscillator and change line. That is a bullish condition. The same thing for the 195-minute time frame chart. Apple on a daily time frame. Is this, it already has formed an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. So let's take a look at that pattern out here. It's more than the one-to-one. -one. You can clearly see that, but we'll draw that in here. Here's our A to B point out there. We'll just simply shift this over to that C point, and you can see we are well above. So it's maybe a 1.272. The point is that if we were to see a bearish reversal candle, that would confirm a sell the D point pattern. What we have is price trading with inside a bullish structured profile that formed yesterday, and price is above the center of that profile. Odds favor, Dan, that price will go target that profile high, and that's up at the 185.21 level. So those are your intraday time periods, your daily time period on a weekly basis. This suggests that we should see a move up to the 189 level on a monthly time frame if we want to understand why price is struggling where it is and that's why it's important to take a look at multiple time frames because on the bigger picture well now when you see the bigger picture price is trading into its sell zone and that sell zone on apples between 186.85 and 198.23 out there but based upon what we took a look at on the other intraday charts as a matter of fact we haven't taken out the prior month's low but we have taken out the prior month's high yes you've got sellers in that zone but it does look like uh, there's a battle that's going on and it looks to me like price will continue to inch higher so that's what we see when we take a look at the multiple time frames there for apple uh ronin inside the tigers then wants to take a look at a nico eagle so let's get over and take a look at that i think i put that here yes we did so now like nico eagle on a daily time frame is trading into its td9 count maybe it's all time swing point high is that possible you see i don't think it is but no, it's not. Okay, good. Okay, but what it is doing, it's uh, taking out, it's trying to take out a TD9 count top. So let's first check out the volume out here. So we take a look at volume, this TD9 count top that took place on April 26th. Volume there was 5 million shares. So far, in just over two hours of trading, we're at 846,000. You don't have to be a math genius to figure out prices moving into uh, AEM swing point there, Ronan, with lighter volume. Now, that doesn't mean that it's going to fail. Price is above that green oscillator and change line. It is above the top of its profile. So it's in breakout bullish mode, but it's going to take on that swing high. Now, even if it closes above it on light volume, it negates that pattern so want to watch 6780 so far the high of the day has been 6775 i think aem is going to get up that 6580 the question is does it close above that and if it does but then you're going to negate that daily td9 count top we come back to this break let's look at the weekly td9 count top for aem as well steve roach with tfn we'll be right back If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider funds investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So uh, not only do we have a TD Nike on top on the daily time frame for Nico Eagle, we've got that on the weekly time frame as well. Let's expand out that chart. The top form of the bar following bar number nine out there. Now, volume coming to the swing point is quite light. This has 19 million shares. That's the swing point from, well, let me get my cursor out here. Uh, from a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago. That was the week that uh, began April 26th. We're into it this week, and we've, we're only 7.9 million shares versus 19. So no matter what, we're not going to take that out with volume. But nonetheless, if price closes above that high, and again, that high was at 67.80, it negates that pattern and suggests that we continue to move higher out there. We take a look at the monthly time frame. Things are in uh, all-out bullish condition. You can see it's A to B equals CD pattern. So we'd be in the mode of going ahead if those TD9 counts get taken out daily and weekly of this just simply doing an A to B equals CD expansion out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at Nico Eagle Ronan. I hope that that answered your questions for you. Nicholas writes in and he wants to uh, go back and review Qualcomm. He said uh, one of the Tigers or Tigresses had asked about this last week or maybe it was earlier in the week and um, the question was about an A to B equals CD pattern. I had said that on the weekly time frame I did not see that because the retracement was not deep enough but the daily time frame did have that. However, that daily time frame, by the way, that A to B equals CD, even though it's not shown here, would get us up to the 194.67 low. The reason that we don't have to worry about that A to B equals CD pattern right now, Nicholas, is because two days ago a TD9 count top went ahead and completed. And so now what we have simply is a consolidation with inside profile. Uh, so as long as it's just consolidating, is it a bearish message? It's a uh, it's a cautious bearish message out here, but no key levels of support have failed, whether that be the oscillator and change line or the bottom of its profile, and that is at 175.59. If, in fact, Qualcomm closed below 175.59, that would signal to you and I that price is getting ready to target its breakout area at the 161.73 level. We're not willing to make that call. Are we worried about the, uh, the is the A to B equal C pattern still in play out here it is but it has to take out that top right and that top again is going to be 184.31 now we take a look at the weekly time frame chart out here we can see price uh, has already negated a TD9 count top and so the weekly chart is saying this wants higher price out there so I think what we're looking at in Qualcomm at this moment in time is just a consolidation with inside profile between the buyers and sellers out there the monthly chart for Qualcomm says it wants higher price as well so we just have a little bit of a timeout there but uh, if we do get a close below that 175.59 that timeout will most 
will certainly get extended to the downside. So, Nicholas, I hope that helps you out. Um, uh, there was a request if I could take a look at the indices out here and give everybody an update as to what it is that I see out there, the cash indices. So let's go do that, and we'll put up this set of charts out here, and you're going to see most of the uh, cash indices that we track. First, we're taking a look at the Dow. The Dow itself uh, does not have a uh, A to B equals CD pattern, again, the Dow cash indice. What it really has is pretty much a consolidation pattern. But we're not really going to worry about that. And the reason we're not going to worry about that is because we can see that price is more, we're in bar number five. Price is lar likely targeting its TD9 count breakdown level. And that's at 39,421.35. If we get it close above that, that says we go to higher prices. If we take a look at the S&P cash, we can see an A to B equals CD pattern there. That formed a buy the D point pattern. I've identify where that was here's your a to b level now let's just simply move this over to the c point and you can see we are above the one to one area that does not mean that it's over we're going to go extend ourselves in fact what you're looking for in the SAB cash index is some type of bearish reversal candle to confirm that top if you take a look at the ndx 100 you can see we're already achieved that one to one level again this needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top the Russell 2000 actually did, the cash indice, confirmed a sell the D point pattern with that bearish shooting star back on May the 7th out there. Price is back inside that uh, swing point. Um, so I don't know if this pattern will fail or not. The semis have an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. That suggests getting up to the 5,004 level out there. I don't have anything getting in the way of that at this moment in time. The Dow transports are trying to break out of a consolidation pattern. If they break out above that, the first level or the first target area is going to be its TD9 count breakdown level at 19,846. NASDAQ composite, you can see it's A to B equals CD pattern. Again, this requires a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. New York Stock Exchange, the same thing. Today, it has attained the one-to-one -one level. But again, this requires a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. So that's what I see when we take a look at the cash indices out there. The only one that has a top in place right now is the Russell 2000. So I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for with regard to the indices. But you know what? Let's not start Stop there. Why don't we go take a look at the ETFs themselves and get a feel for what's going on there? Uh, let's not, uh, let's actually, that's not it. But if you give me a moment, we'll get over to that screen. But the screen that I really wanted to get to is on the other side. So let me do this here. We're going to change our windows. Hopefully, Stevie can figure out which screen that is. Not that easy. I think it is this one. Let's see. Yes, it is. So now, here you've got the SPY in the left-hand side. You see the A to B equals CD pad that's in place. Again, needs a bearish reversal candle. The Q is the same thing. It does have resistance up at 442.24. Again, no topping pattern that has been confirmed just yet. The diamonds, you can see the consolidation measured move breakout. That takes us back to its TD9 count breakdown level. That's up at 394.24. Here's the IWM. The IWM actually confirmed a uh, sell the D point pattern two days ago when it gapped down, but that gap is now now being filled today and that pattern has gone away so this is going to need another bearish reversal candle to confirm a top the xlk you can see it's a to b equals cd pattern it's achieved more than the one to one this also needs a bearish reversal candle the xlv the healthcare sector yesterday confirmed a sell the d point pattern it did that when it generated that dark cloud cover candle but we're still trading with inside that in fact we've actually made a slightly higher high over yesterday's high and we haven't taken out the low so that says to me that that is a suspicious top out there. Certainly, it has not gotten any traction as we speak. The financial sector is in an A to B equals CD pattern. Let's take a look at the volume. I have no idea if it's confirmed or not. It doesn't really matter. It's in that pattern. But the volume would be the swing point from April 23rd. 36 million shares there when it was passed yesterday. It was with 28 million. The day before, it had 42 million. Did it close above the high? It did not. And today, so far, you've got about 10 million shares, so it's about a 30 million share a day. Doesn't matter. It's still likely to go target at least the 4183 level. The XLC has an A to B equals CD pattern. Prices attain the one-to-one -one level. Prices trading with inside its profiles. Again, that needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. We just took a look at the, the heaviest weighted sectors inside the S&P 500, and what you didn't hear Stevie come up with were any kind of tops out there. 
except for the XLV. But even you and I, we took a look at that and said, you know, that is a suspicious looking top. Now let's go take a look at the other sectors here just to close this out, see if we can do this in the next 40 seconds or so. Again, Stevie's got to find that. I think that is this one here. And it should see the XLE. And the XLE possibly so it's got to buy the d point bottom pattern out there and it may form an a to b equal cd to the upside it'll do that today it price is able to close above 94.24 now the volume on that swing was 16 million shares so far today we've done 5 million shares so this is pulling into that swing point with volume we don't have a confirmed a to b equal cd pattern inside the xly but if price did close above its b point and that's up at 180.28 we would get that pattern right now price is uh it's in rally mode it's above profile resistance and it's also during change line. The XLI, it wants to go target um, the top of its, uh, it's a trade inside a swing point. Looks like it wants to go target its high. The A to B equals CD pattern inside the XLP, that wants higher price. The same thing for the XLU, the same thing for the XLB, the same thing for the XLRE out there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at uh, AMD. This is for Nancy inside the Tiger's Den. And so, Nancy, we take a look at AMD. On the trading day of May 6, when price gapped up, that went ahead and confirmed that Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern. Today, price is testing that little gap area. So that uh, gapped up with 44 million shares today. The uh, pullback is with 16 million shares so far. So, you know, it's it's pulling back with similar type of volume to that uh, to that little gap area. What I would watch for you 
is the 149.95 ish area. If price were to close below that, that would suggest that we go back down and we retest that uh, swing point low. That's a swing point from the trading say session of May 3rd. Please realize price is below profile area out there. So this has not proven itself. Even though you've got that bottom pattern, it really hasn't proven itself to us. If we look at the weekly time frame, we have been below profile support for one, two, three. This will be four weeks in a row. And as long as price remains above, below 159.33, there's pressure to the downside. If we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, it's not exactly, it's kind of neutral right now. It's uncertain whether it wants to close above the asset and change line or below it. If it does close below it, that's going to suggest lower price as well. So I would watch the 149.90-ish area out there. If price closes below that, we're likely headed lower. If we take a look at a uh, quickly at the intraday charts out here, um, on a 30-minute uh, basis, uh, you've got a road momentum indicator top. I'd watch 149.83 as another level. That's a TD nine count breakout area. If price closes below that, 145.24 would be in the cards for us. So that's what I see when I take a look at AMD. Hope that helps you out. And the last uh, a request is from Vic, who wants to take a look at ticker symbol ODFL. Uh, he went long yesterday. So what you'd really love to see here, I don't have a bottom pattern signal out here. Uh, what you'd really love to see is price close above this oscillator and change line, because that has acted as resistance it did yesterday so that means you'd love to see a close above 184.80 today if you get that maybe you get a rally up to the 195 level the weekly time frame does not have any kind of a bottom signal the monthly time frame on odfl also does not have a bottom signal out there so get your stops in i'm pulling for you and you'd really love to see price close above that oscillator unchanged line folks thanks for joining me on terrific thursday i hope you have a, a great day and stay tuned for all the wonderful programming, and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow, 11 a.m. sharp on fabulous, fantastic Friday. Take care and be safe. Bye.